Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Um, now, I did this video uh, to create a dice as a little exercise, but I'm having to do a voice over over the top of it because the audio, which I found out at the end, wasn't recording. So um, this is a narration over the top of what I was doing. So I've got this dice rolled out here. Um, what I want to do is replicate this in Fusion 360 for um, potentially 3D printing it. So I select a plane, go into sketch, and create a center point rectangle. I want to make this, what is it, uh, 30 by 30. So I've put the dimensions across, constrain the dimensions. By pressing D, you can click a line and press D to constrain the dimensions and then I want to extrude that upwards for 30 millimeters because it's going to be a perfect cube and uh, now I'm not start to think about um, what the sides are going to look like and what we're going to have so I'm going to create a sketch on one side by clicking it, using it as a as a plane, and going into sketch, um, and I'm going to test creating the the number one side of the dice. So I play about with different dimensions of the numbers to get it right. I think I settle on six millimeters because I think that looks the best with the size that I've got going. When I come out of the sketch, I've got the uh, circle highlighted and I'm going to extrude inwards to cut the surface to create the the kind of dint for the the dint for the um, dice number. I'm not quite sure what that's called, the technical term. So I'm going to press E for extrude. I wanted to go inwards, but I was toying with the idea here of angles because if you're into 3D printing, you'll know that a 3D printer can't print in thinner and um, generally from the bottom part of the 3D print printer from the bed, it can't really do anything shallower than a 45 degree angle. So I cut inwards two millimeters and then I change this taper angle and I keep playing with this taper angle to see um, how far I can go. I think I settle on minus 50 degrees and that means that it looks pretty good uh, as it tapers inwards and it also um, is printable. Now it leaves a little flat spot at the bottom of the hole as well which we sort out at the end of the video. So at this point I've got my template for the hole and I'm going to use this idea, the similar idea, all the way around the uh, dice so that all the holes look the same diameter, same taper and they look um, pretty uniform. So at this point I think I'm going to speed up the video here while I fill in all the extra holes. Now that all the holes are, um, the templates for the holes are done, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did with the first side of the dice 
and put a minus two millimeter cut into the dice with a minus 50 degree uh, taper angle to get the the kind of effect that you see on a dice. And so at this point I start thinking about how I might want the edges of the dice to curve and I'm going to use a fillet to or fillet to create that kind of curvy edge otherwise the dice just won't roll as well as it could do uh, like you see in games that you might play with dice they've got curved edges some of the cheaper dice have those jagged edges and they don't roll quite as nicely so I'm going to select all of the external lines for this cube And I think I end up putting a three millimeter fillet on on the edges. Now I wasn't too happy with this, but um, I changed it to, I think it's rollerball um, fillet type, and I think that that kind of works a little bit better. I think that's the kind of look that we want on our dice, or die, and um, I'm quite happy with the result. So um, what I'll do is I'll upload this STL file to Thingiverse, and you can find the link in the description of this video um, but I'll just to finish off and I will fast forward this what I'm doing now is I'm just smoothing off the flat sections inside the dice holes and uh, just to so that they're not flat so they, they have some kind of definition to the, the curve on them and I think I decide to do a 1mm uh, fillet a 2mm won't fit in that space and it causes a compute error in Fusion 360 and um, I'm just going to speed that up uh, and we'll have a look at the finished product so I'm quite happy with the finished product we've got here if you want a copy of this you can head over to Thingiverse I've got a link in the description as I said and uh, you can download it it'll probably need scaling to whatever size you want if you want to print it uh, for for any purpose uh, right now it's about three cent three centimeters squared, so um, just bear that in mind when you print it. You probably want to reduce it in size, if anything. And thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. If you can let me know how you might have done something differently in this, I'm always up for learning new things. I hope you enjoyed the video, and goodbye. <laughs>